Pain during sex in women is a common experience, yet it is often misunderstood or not talked about openly. To understand why it happens, it helps to look closely at how the female body is structured, how it normally responds to sexual activity, and what can interfere with that process. Pain is not a normal or necessary part of sex, and when it occurs, it is usually the body signaling that something is not working as it should. The vagina is a flexible, muscular tube that connects the outside of the body to the cervix, which is the opening of the uterus. Its walls are soft and elastic, designed to stretch and adjust during sexual activity, childbirth, or medical exams. Under normal conditions, the vagina produces natural lubrication when a woman becomes sexually aroused. This lubrication reduces friction and allows penetration to occur comfortably. The process is controlled by blood flow and nerve signals that respond to physical touch, emotional comfort, and hormonal balance. When arousal begins, blood flow increases to the genital area. This causes the vaginal walls to release moisture, which acts as a natural lubricant. At the same time, the vaginal canal lengthens and widens slightly, making space for penetration. If this process is incomplete or interrupted, dryness and tightness can occur. Without enough lubrication or relaxation, friction increases, which can lead to burning, stinging, or sharp pain during sex. One of the most common causes of pain during sex is insufficient lubrication. This can happen for many reasons. Stress, anxiety, fear, or lack of emotional comfort can prevent the body from fully responding to arousal. Hormonal changes also play a major role. Estrogen, a hormone that helps keep vaginal tissue soft and well, lubricated, can decrease during breastfeeding, after childbirth, or during menopause. When estrogen levels are low, the vaginal walls may become thinner, drier, and less elastic, a condition known as vaginal atrophy. This makes penetration more uncomfortable and increases the chance of irritation or small tears. Pain can also come from the muscles around the vaginal opening. These muscles normally relax during arousal, but in some women they tighten instead. This tightening can be involuntary and difficult to control. When the muscles contract strongly, penetration may feel painful or even impossible. This condition is sometimes linked to past pain, fear, trauma, or repeated discomfort during sex. Over time, the body may learn to associate penetration with pain and respond by tightening the muscles as a protective reaction. Another possible source of pain is inflammation or irritation of the vulva, which is the external area around the vaginal opening. This region contains sensitive skin and many nerve endings. Infections, allergic reactions, skin conditions, or repeated friction can cause redness, swelling, or tenderness. When this area is already irritated, touch or penetration can trigger sharp or burning pain. Even everyday products like soaps, detergents, or scented hygiene items can disrupt the natural balance of the skin and cause discomfort. Inside the vagina and pelvis, pain may also come from deeper structures. The cervix, uterus, bladder, and intestines all sit close together in the lower abdomen. During deep penetration, pressure on these organs can cause discomfort if there is inflammation or disease. Conditions such as endometriosis, where tissue similar to the lining of the uterus grows outside it, can cause deep pelvic pain during sex. Fibroids, which are non-cancerous growths in the uterus or pelvic inflammatory disease, which is an infection of the reproductive organs, can also make movement and pressure painful. Nerves play an important role in how pain is felt. The pelvic region contains many nerves that send signals to the brain. If these nerves become irritated, compressed, or overly sensitive, normal sensations can be interpreted as pain. Chronic pain conditions can cause the nervous system to stay in a heightened state, meaning it reacts strongly even to gentle touch. This can make sexual activity uncomfortable even when no visible damage is present. Emotional and psychological factors are closely connected to physical pain. The brain is the body's main control center for interpreting sensation. Anxiety, fear, past trauma, or negative experiences related to sex can influence how the body responds. When a woman feels unsafe, tense, or pressured, the nervous system may activate a stress response. This causes muscles to tighten and reduces blood flow to the genital area, which interferes with lubrication and relaxation. Over time, this cycle can reinforce pain and make it more persistent. 
Childbirth and medical procedures can also affect sexual comfort. Tearing, scarring, or changes in muscle tone after delivery may alter how the vagina feels during penetration. Scar tissue is less flexible than normal tissue, so stretching can feel uncomfortable. In some cases, nerve damage or muscle weakness can change sensation and lead to pain. Healing takes time and the body may need support to fully recover. It is also important to understand that pain can occur at different stages of sexual activity. Some women feel pain at the entrance of the vagina, while others feel it deeper inside. Some experience pain immediately, while others notice it later or after sex. Each pattern can point to different underlying causes, which is why listening to the body's signals is so important. Pain during sex is not something to ignore or simply tolerate. It is the body's way of communicating that it needs attention. Many causes of sexual pain are treatable once they are properly identified. Treatments may include improving lubrication, addressing hormonal changes, relaxing pelvic muscles, treating infections, or managing underlying medical conditions. Emotional support and education can also help break the cycle of fear and tension that contributes to discomfort. Understanding the anatomy and science behind pain during sex helps remove shame and confusion. The female body is complex and responsive, and when all its systems work together smoothly, sex should not hurt. When pain does occur, it is not a failure of the body, but a signal that something needs care, understanding, and sometimes medical guidance.